Hey guys, and welcome to a custom campaign. This is The Awakening by The Duke 37. They reached out to me and asked if I could play their campaign, so here we are. We're playing as Genetron. Hockey profile, shush profile. Alright. So this is Genetron. It is a Karen Protoss like race. As first of all, it looks like Terran. It's all robotic units, light mechanical. Every single unit we have is mechanical. So we don't have anything that is, of course, biological. So the goal is to destroy two bases right here. We have the green base, which is a science base. You have this base over here and this area over here as well. And of course, this is the first mission, so it's going to tell you what to do. So, if I remember correctly, I don't think this unit is in the Genetron list normally. This is the Blaze. It is basically the fixer, of course, changed to be, well, Flamethrower. If this is in... <clears throat> If this is in the normal, then I must have not have noticed it because I went ahead and messed around. Of course, you see there's another bar right over here in the top right. You can see it is our energy bar. It's very important as that our units don't normally regenerate energy. Only these relay towers, the nodes, as well as the processing core regenerates. Another thing is we could use energy to increase our production rate by 200% or 150%. And of course, when you unlock certain things, it will, if you use overclock mode, it will unlock some of the abilities to do things like production. Right away, we have the ability to get level three gear, sorry, armor and weapons, which is nice. Let's see. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and Genetron use an energy mechanic to produce units at a quicker rate. If your energy runs out, you will not be able to produce anything until it turns. Now we have some allies, but they don't really do anything. They just stand there doing nothing. As they are broken. Okay, I need an outfitting station. Actually, yeah, I need an outfitting station because that's how I'm going to unlock my upgrades. Or some of my building, or some of my units. I do want to get some more supply. And we don't have to touch Vesping Gas because this is not a Vesping Gas heavy start. There's not much Vesping really needed for this. Because all of our units are just 25, 75, or at least 100 Vesping <clears throat> at most. So, yeah. We don't really need to make any more, as this might be a kerosene Vespin gas geyser, which is also the rich Vespin gas, so there's no points. Okay. Let's get our production rate just up.
Now, the reason why I'm build building so much of these is because Genetron is, in general, a pretty weak race without their abilities. So, yeah, they're pretty weak in general. Okay. I don't have to worry about that yet. Um, so, our defenses can barrel and unbarrel, which is quite unique. These are basically mini tanks. <laughs> They're pretty fun to use. Uh, we need some fixers. These are basically mobile SCVs that actually have damage. And then again, this is also the first mission. So you're not made to lose. You're supposed to win. But, if I remember correctly, the AI will get har Well, no, sorry. Not the AI. The difficulty of this campaign will be harder as there is only five missions so yeah get prepared this is gonna be a long a long campaign probably to be honest even though it is just five we are maxed out on energy The only reason why we're maxed out on energy is because we're not actually attacking yet. We're preparing to attack. So, yeah. Alright. We want more equalizers because they're anti armor. And we should be ready to attack. If I let the fixers go and repair these stuff, because it's gonna be. This is vital. It's our only defenses that we have. These are basically perdition turrets. With the way they are. They're just a little bit better. They have more range, I think. Though well, the AI on these unbearing and unbarrowing and barrowing is a little bit weird. To be honest. But then again, this is a custom race. Yep. They barrel underneath. I hate how it's not automatic. Which it should be, but... Yeah. And another thing about... Right about the repulsors is it's not one button like the barrel in <clears throat> like the barrel that Zerg has. Let's move.
Now these guys are being buffed right now by... I forgot what it was. it's called, but it's something that buffs them. Increasing their damage probably, and attack rates. But there is going to be a lot of light units. For example, this is one of them. Oh, they're being attacked. Ten bonus damage against armored. Stop sending units at me. They're only sending one, but it's so annoying. Okay. This is how they get their units out. Okay, we're going on the retreat now. And more blitzers. Since I have a bunch of fixers here. It's unique that the o the UED forces they after being destroyed or defeated or dropped down to one HP. They go incapacitated instead of just dying like marines or any other unit, which is really unique. <clears throat> As you can see, we definitely do not need any Vespine, to be honest, because we could slowly get our upgrades. Oh, I need more. What do these guys have? Do they have like some? They have a shock then, basically. Okay. Alright, these relay towers are good. Energy production is really high. Okay, pull back. Glitchers, fixers, blazes. I could get more equalizers since now there is armored units.
This thing just got one shot. Okay, yeah. I was wrong. I definitely do need this gas. But I don't need anything else, right? Oh, you could clip through this. Huh. Um. Let's see. And he's not going to charge his up. Oh, this only target structures. Okay. All right, let's send that guy there. Twenty nine seconds. Okay. More blitzes. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is actually working now. Let's grab another one. No, we don't. These are also just, you know. More energy. Insufficient rescue gas. <laughs> so the purple base right here, this is actually the harder base to take down. Green base, in my opinion, should be pretty easy. This one's just so big. Because there's stuff over here too. And this one is... You can see there's a wall here. And there's a wall here too. So that one shouldn't be as much as a problem. What is this? Starship plant? <laughs> Do I have to take that? Sufficient rescue gas. Take them all out. Other retreats. Just a back and forth.
Yeah, these are transferring energy to there. That's four. I don't think I actually have max upgrades. Yeah, I don't. Because this is just really good. No, my relay tower. Okay. I'm gonna have to push all the way. I want to ta target these first. Okay. Treats. Yes, I lost all my army. Then again, I did take out pretty much everything. Um, I will take this expansion if this small little thing if I need to. I could also take this. Nothing's stopping me. Well, let's move these over here so they recharge. Nine damage. Which is our 50. Okay. Let's take this now. Ooh, Crimson Eye. It's a bug. Stab or stab or stab out. Roy plating? I don't know. 
Oh, I don't need that. Okay. Whoa, 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 I don't have anything to attack you. DPS. There we go. That's our spawners. Let's just some more Spitfires. Yeah, we have some fixers. Then we're gonna get this. We need more damage. That's literally all it is. How much do fixers heal? go some forces are over there and let's go That's all of purple's bases. We need to redirect you here. We still have to worry about those guys that attack the red, but not as much anymore. Let the fixtures do their work. Okay, go. What is that thing? Transport shuttle? Hmm. 
This is so much minerals. Okay. Drag the tank out. Or just destroy it. Nice and easy. Wait, there's a little area over here. Hold on. Oh, wait, so I didn't have to destroy these platform things. Okay. Well, I'm going to do it anyway and just... And uh, I think that should be it. Yeah, because the red base is over here. And there's basically no way to go there. Base is under attack. Actually, how geared up is that red base? base is under attack. Oh well. Why are they coming from over there? No. Uh. Anyway, that was Sky on the Sky on campaign mission one awakening made by the Duke thirty seven. They personally went out into my Discord after I commented on their comment and DM'd me about their campaign and they asked if I wanted to play. So yeah, pretty good. And that's all for today.